Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Stone Zone, the place where I blabber about Japanese cartoons. So since I made an entire video on Boichi, who is the illustrator of Dr. Stone, it's only fair that I make one about the man who wrote the story itself, Riichiro Yanagaki. He's a very interesting man, as you would expect from a writer, and a lot of his decisions in the story are made for a reason. Look at that! No shit! I shall be discussing said reasons and a bunch of other stuff today, which you have no choice but to enjoy, haha. <laughs> Also, don't let ticks bite you since it can cause an allergy to red meat. The Lone Star Tick can actually make you allergic to all kinds of red meat, but you have a pretty small chance of getting bitten by one. I might have just saved you from an allergy to red meat, so please return the favor by liking the video and subscribing. Before starting, I just want to say that I talk more about Inagaki's past works and won't talk about Dr. Stone for a little while, but if you really want that, you can just skip to this timestamp. So Inugaki Sensei wrote and serialized his first manga in 2001 called Nando Demo Rokugatsu Jusan Hi. Now what's a little funny is that I could not find this one shot anywhere. I searched and searched but I couldn't even find the goddamn cover page. This was extremely annoying because I couldn't read the plot or anything but moving on to Square Freeze. This was Inugaki's second one shot which I also couldn't find. That was until I searched up the Japanese name and sure enough I found a couple manga pages. I tried reading it only to realize that I know a grand total of 11 kanji. The same with Love Love Santa, another one shot which I couldn't find. Inugaki wrote these three one shots in a single year and then came his actual manga series being Ice Shield 21. It has sold over 20 million copies in Japan and to give you a little bit of perspective, Dr. Stone is o has sold over 10 million copies worldwide. Does that mean Ice Shield 21 is more popular than Dr. Stone? Well, no, but Ice Shield 21 was a pretty big deal. It wasn't rare to see some of its volumes appear on the top 10 lists of the best selling manga back then. And like many sports anime, it increased the number of Japanese students playing American football, which is basically what the series is about. Oh, wait, I didn't even tell you what it's about. Silly me. So basically, a very shy and timid kid named Sena enters high school and you know, when you're shy, you're a pretty good target for bullies. Due to that, Sena develops very quick legs to run away from the bullies. And after seeing this, he's invited to join the football team by the captain. Check it out if you want to, however, it doesn't really sound too interesting to me, so I didn't bother. Anyway, I think this ended up being a video on Ice Shield 21 as opposed to Inagaki Sensei, so getting back on track, Inagaki wrote four one-shots before his ultimate masterpiece, Dr. Stone. You know, the thing that I talk about on this channel every week. Sometimes. Anyway, so the first one shot he wrote after I Shield 21 was Kiba and Kiba, which I finally found the cover page for, oh my god. But this one shot is about a kid named Kiba who wants to become someone important. He learns how to fight with a spear and then goes on to help the former princess survive as a usurper tries to kill her and the king. Next, he wrote Shinpai Kaito no Face, a one shot that he wrote in collaboration with Katsunori Matsui. And no, I couldn't find the summary of this either. Failure. Three years later, he went on to write Alpha Centauri Zoo, again with Katsunori Matsui. And last but not least, the final one shot before his next big hit, Kobushi Zamurai, in collaboration with Ryoichi Ikigami. Two years after writing this one shot, he would go on to write the first few chapters for our beloved Dr. Stone. But before I get into the details of that, I just want to talk about Trillion Game, a manga that Inagaki started in 2020, again with Ryoichi Ikegami. This manga is about two students, one very smart and the other with very good communication skills. Their mission is to earn a trillion dollars and to be able to have anything that they desire at any time. Now one thing I noticed after reading the first chapter is that the name of one of the two main characters is Gaku, which is the same name that Inagaki wanted to use for Senku. The reason he didn't use it though was that it sounded too academic or nerdy because Gaku means cool in Japanese. Even though Senku is smart as fuck, he isn't really the nerdy type and is meant to be the, the cool character type. But in Trillion Game, Gaku is the awkward shy kid who's very smart and uses glasses. So it fits perfectly for him because he isn't meant to be the cool character type. That role goes to his friend, Haru, who is probably the most confident liar that you'll ever see. Now I gave it a read and it's actually really good. If you're starting to miss Dr. Stone, Trillion Game would be a perfect alternative because not only is it written by the same author, it sort of gives me Dr. Stone vibes. The sheer amount of absurdity, impossible problems being solved realistically, the tropey characters and it's just fun. It makes boring things like coding and entrepreneurship fun just like Dr. Stone made science fun. 
So in an interview, Inagaki was asked what his favorite invention was, and you'd probably expect it to be something like the cell phone or the steam gorilla. But it's actually the distillation system that he builds to make alcohol. The reason being that it shows Senku's perseverance and dedication because the system breaks a couple times before he is actually finally able to make alcohol. Alright, let's get into the juicy stuff. So for those of you who are anime only, you can't really read the author's notes. Therefore, you're not able to see the research and behind the scenes of the series. For example, a very long time ago, I told you about how Inagaki went to an actual glass workshop and tried crafting glassware for inspiration to write Kazaki's character. He struggled to make a simple glass vase, which is probably hard enough. He made his own millet ramen once, which is what I think this looks like, and he talked about how Senku couldn't have done a lot of shit without his friends, just like Inagaki couldn't have made Dr. Stone possible without his staff and the combined effort of a lot of people. It's very nice of him to credit the staff because it's usually only the author and illustrator who get the most attention. Oh, did you know that Inagaki attended a spear dojo class as uh, <clears throat> research? Because I mean, I would just use it as an excuse to do cool spear stuff. <laughs> like, come on, spears are so cool. Imagine actually mastering it. But anyway, the teacher in the spear dojo actually showed Inagaki the Khan style, which is the technique used by Hyoga, where you know, spins it around and attacks. Inagaki was apparently able to spin it just fine, but actually attacking was too hard for him. Now, I'm assuming that you watched the Ryusui special that released recently, and the hot air balloon scene was definitely magical, and they did just such a good job about being faithful to the manga, because that manga panel was amazing. However, this masterpiece of a panel slash scene didn't come from nowhere because I don't think that it would have been nearly as good as if Inagaki didn't write a hot air balloon himself. Yes, he did write in a hot air balloon for research purposes and in his own words, it was a bizarre sensation. I would probably just freak out and try my best not to jump off. Now just a minor manga spoiler here, but to write Francois's character, Inagaki went to a bread making class and he said that it seemed like a great hobby to have due to the fact that that you end up with an edible product in the end. And I can't agree more because it's just so fun to bake every once in a while. Now when you think about a mangaka or a writer, you probably think about this smart ass dude who sits in front of his PC and just writes all day with a cup of coffee on his desk. Which I mean isn't completely wrong, Inuyaki himself says that it's a very lonely job, but you'd think that they get these absolutely amazing ideas and inspiration out of nowhere and that just sitting and thinking all day will automatically give them cool ideas and thoughts to write about. You'd think that writing comes naturally to them, and that it's easy for them to sort of be in the shoes of the character they're trying to write about, to, you know, sort of think like them. But it really isn't. Authors need external inspiration, and you just simply cannot replicate that online. They need to go out and experience it themselves to actually write something accurate. Now, I don't know much about writing, but if you want to become a writer or something, I would highly recommend going out and just, you know, experiencing a shit ton of things because that experience will help you so much in the long run. Like, you know, it would have been possible to just write the story without actually experiencing it, you know what I mean? Inuaki didn't have to visit a spear dojo or a glass factory just to write some characters in a Japanese comic. No one would really give a shit if the writing is a bit unnatural or not completely accurate because they haven't experienced it themselves. And I feel like that's what differentiates average authors from amazing ones. It's not always about having the best story with the most insane plot twists or art, because you can almost feel the joy that the authors experience when writing the story. Anyway, so that was that. I would fucking love to meet Inagaki in person if I ever got the chance, because he really seems like a fun dude. Who knows, maybe I will, and maybe you will too. I really hope you enjoyed this video though, because this is a little different in that it really isn't directly related to Dr. Stone, but I feel like it's so important to be aware of the fact that there is a living, breathing person who writes this wonderful series, and we don't credit them enough. Like and subscribe, okay, bye.